the human connection. I'm in an operating room that's usually used for organ transplants. As you can see, the room is empty. The major reason is there's just not enough organs to go around. You and your family can help. Talk to your family about organ and tissue donation and sign an organ donor card today. Become a part of the human connection. It's the right thing to do. Howard Nathan cannot be described in one word. Amazing. Inspiring. Influential. Gregarious. Generous. Humble. Dedicated. Innovative. Committed. Legend. Motivated. Legend. Curious. Fun. Knowledgeable. Dedicated. Visionary. Howard has always been visionary. I've known him since 1996 when I first arrived here, and I was uh, the pediatric transplant surgeon from DuPont Hospital for Children. We all know there's many universities here, and they all had transplant programs that were beginning. These institutions were really heavily competing with each other for heart surgery, for joint replacements, for cancer care, and I was amazed to see that in the world of transplantation, there really wasn't any competition. And Howard was able to do this in two ways. One, becoming friends with all the transplant surgeons. And two, getting to know the hospital administrators. This relationship that Howard has had has been the glue that has held this program together without this competition. And the, the creation of this education program which uh, has become an international program, was a model for all the other OPOs, as was the building we're in right now, the family house. A lot of times you have ideas, and they just stay as ideas. Uh, Howard made this all happen, and um, uh, I'm glad he's sticking around. Howard's compassion is who he is. I think Howard's compassion comes from his lived experiences. He has had to deal with issues that may have been challenging for him, familial, health-wise, um, and he comes out of it stronger because he really kind of had the ability to, to look inside himself and figure out how to thrive. And Consequently, he can see that in other people and it kind of helped them, help them move along. In my own experience, one of the examples I remember the most is when my young niece um, passed away and it happened very quickly and it was very tragic for the whole family. But Howard, as he always is, he was right there for whatever my family needed and I always appreciated that. Everybody knows that he kind of sees people for who they are and, and they feel it. They can feel that from him and they know that he cares about them no matter who they are and where they're from and he always has that desire to to want to help somebody. Howard is nothing if not tenacious. Howard is not a quitter which is what I discovered you know, with the dealings with my son, that Howard was behind the scenes talking to the hospital president, working on writing a new policy for donation after circulatory death, because that had not been used for a long, 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 long time. And um, Howard made, made it happen. None of us knew at that time that in 25 years, there would be over 44,000 lives saved through donation after cardiac death. And it was Howard that listened to the family, heard what the family said, and Howard made it happen. And because of all of that, that began the healing for our family, knowing that Michael could be an organ donor and that we could fulfill his wish. We are here at the family house because of his tenacity. The family house was a concept that had to be really sold, not only to the board, but to the community. Having a family house was so important that um, Howard didn't take no for an answer. We have become very close friends, and I just simply love him because I love that he looks after the donor families as well as the recipients. 
and it's a complete package. How it has shown the world of organ donation that collaboration is a very powerful tool. I think what jumps out at me about Howard is he's always someone who wants to help others get better. And he sees his leadership style as one of bringing new voices together to create better results. And it's really driven by the mission and the yearning that we can all improve. And by doing that in a way that collaborates, it's so clearly a strength that he has. And he's known across the country and across the world for that. Definitely. You know, my personal story with Howard starts in 2011. We met at a meeting in New Jersey, I guess. Uh, he had a major impact. When I saw him at first, I, I could see his charisma, and, and I started calling him the boss because he was always with people around, always telling his story or posing questions. So I, I can say now, 11 years later, that he became a, a close friend. Eduardo calls him the boss, which I think is the right title for uh, his presence in the international stage. I can think of uh, Howard being in Australia, in China, in Canada, and in Saudi Arabia, uh, helping teach uh, others about donation and sharing those best practices. He has such an inviting way of, of building presence with individuals, no matter what nation you're from. Someone once said that, that when you share information, you give something and you don't lose anything. And most likely you'll get something back. But uh, how it does that in such a natural and generous way that it's so good to see. Is Howard a fun person? Yes, he is. Howard always attracts a crowd. He's not Rodney Dangerfield, um, but he's... Uh, never downbeat, always upbeat, and genuinely fun to be with. I'm too sexy for my shirt, too sexy for my shirt, so sexy it hurts. A number of years ago at the ISODP meeting, Howard came in um, to, the, to the theme song of Rocky. It's that bum, 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 bum. And he came in wearing a bathrobe with a hood, pretending that he was Rocky, and ran up onto the stage of this international meeting. Um, he made a total fool of himself, but it was the perfect way to start the meeting. The events were always about fun, and it was much more natural. And it very much reflects Howard's personality of, uh, of genuineness without any artificiality, without any without being contrived. Everybody wants to be around him, partly because he's so important to the field, but partly because you know you're always going to have a good time with him, whether that's in a meeting or at dinner or just hanging around. He is always fun, always intense, and makes a huge difference to everything that we do in this field. Howard's kindness has been boundless. When I think of Howard, the first word that comes to mind is kindness because of the way that he's helped and supported my family throughout the past 17 years. When I was a baby, I had a liver transplant at 10 months old and Howard was one of the first people to hold me post-transplant. Ever since then, he's been there to support me and my family. I got to know Howard better through the Transplant Games of America. When I was eight at the Transplant Games in Grand Rapids, Michigan, before we started the games, we always have a team luncheon with Team Philly. And a team tradition is that after we're eating and the announcements of what happens in that week, Howard will call up the youngest and the oldest player to come up to the podium. And I remember being called up by Howard. I can see Howard just beaming at me and beaming into the crowd, describing the young woman that he thought I was currently in that he knew I'd become. And I always knew that moment that Howard would always be there for me. So I'm a senior graduating from Archer Academy, and in the fall, I'll be attending Loyola, Maryland, and Baltimore, where I'll be majoring in biochemistry on the pre-med track, and afterwards, I will be going to med school, which is mostly because and inspired by Howard's support and just all the help that he gives for other people, including my family. He's one of the kindest people you'll ever meet. Passionate. Warm. Dynamic. Thoughtful. Caring. A good guy. Flexible. 
persuasive, enthusiastic, genuine, revolutionary. My one word would be love. <laughs>